and Stephanie Tower. Never miss the Bitcoin beat. This is Coin Geek Pulse. Our top story this week: a major Twitter hacking is still trending. The infamous 2020 Twitter hack involved the accounts of famous personalities like Barack Obama, Elon Musk, Bill Gates, Kim Kardashian, and more. The hackers promised to double the amount of BTC spent, but of course, that did not happen at all. They stole a little over 13 BTC or more than 120,000 US dollars from individuals across the world. Twitter is still investigating the incident, but it temporarily stopped users from tweeting any Bitcoin address. The feds are also joining the probe for possible links to national security. It's an uphill climb for hackers because they will have a hard time liquidating their stolen BTC. Their addresses used in the hack have been blacklisted by exchanges and now being closely monitored. Most exchanges comply with KYC and anti-money laundering regulations before anyone can use their platforms. Twitter vows to resolve the problem, work with authorities, and roll out training programs to its employees to detect social engineering tactics. In other news, is the fintech giant gearing off to join the digital asset space? Well, multiple reports are circulating that PayPal will soon allow buying and selling of digital money to its hundreds of millions of users. The buzz also adds the potential involvement of digital wallet Venmo, which facilitated over 30 billion US dollars in payments last quarter. PayPal has yet to confirm any of this. But reports also say that the fintech giant also plans to facilitate its trading through a new partnership with regulated financial institution Paxos. It is also not clear which digital currencies they intend to offer. The expansion of traditional fintech companies into the digital asset arena has been steadily growing this past few years. We expect the trend to accelerate further over the next several years. Another week calls for a new blockchain-based solution for enterprises and businesses. What's up, Docs? Well, Docs is a new service created on top of the Bitcoin SV blockchain to verify and authenticate digital documents. It empowers users to easily create digital documents that can be validated by anyone, anytime, and anywhere. Docs is currently in beta, but soon it aims to help more businesses to eliminate document tampering and alteration. The Netherlands-based company is headed by Donald Mulders, who is known to be a longtime proponent of Bitcoin SV and a supporter of on-chain scaling. Thanks for joining us this week. I'm Stephanie Tauber. Visit CoinGeek.com so you never miss the Bitcoin Beat. You're watching CoinGeek Calls. This is BuyBSV.com, the quick and simple way to buy Bitcoin SV. You can't miss it. It says, a quick and simple way to buy BSV on buybsv.com. It's safe and secure. Within an hour, you'll own BSV digital assets, which means it's so quick and simple. So if you want to buy BSV, use buybsv.com. It does exactly what it says.